Texan Global School. Excel Graph Tutorial In this class, we'll walk through the process of graphing exponential and logarithmic functions in Excel. We will start by writing the exponential function 2 to the x in any cell. Now, propose the values of the abscissa x to obtain those of the ordinate f of x. Let s give format the document by making the borders white. We propose the values of the domain from negative 2 to 2. Now, create the formula of the exponential function 2 to the x, substituting each value of the domain to find the range. Let S highlight the borders of the tab cells with their full values. Now, let S create the graph. Select the domain and range of the table. Then, we're going to insert scatter plot. We can see the behavior of the exponential function 2 to the x. To give format to the graph, press right click on the graph. Select edit and the title cell to identify the exercise. In this section, you can edit the domain and range too. In this other example, let us graph another function on a new sheet. We will graph the exponential function f of x equal with e to the x. We propose the values of the abscissa x from negative 2 to 2 and let s give some format. Now, enter the formula in the first cell of the ordinates. Use the exponential formula and select the cell on the abscissa. Drag the cells and complete the range. The value of the number E 2.71828 is highlighted. Now, let us create the graph. We can see the behavior of the exponential graph e to x and format it to place the title of the exercise. On another new sheet, we will graph a logarithmic function. 
Place the function log base 2 of x in any cell. Define the cells where we will place domain x and range f of x. And propose domain values from negative 2 to 2. Enter the formula for the logarithm. Look in the menu of mathematical formulas for the log. When selected, place first the cell of the domain and then the base of the logarithm, in this case, 2. We can see that the cells with negative values, highlighted in yellow, resulted in an undefined value. This is because logarithms of negative numbers do not exist in the real number system. We can also see that the logarithm of zero is undefined. So, to graph logarithms, we must propose domain values greater than zero. We start from 0 0.1 to 2. and format the document. And now, Select the domain from 0.1 to 2 and graph to get the logarithmic function. Also edit the graph to place the title. Hence, we can observe the behavior of the function log 2 of x. You can see that values near zero will increase. But there are no values before zero. In this last example, we will graph the natural logarithm of x. We propose the domain from 0.1 to 2. The closer the value to zero in the domain, the logarithmic function will grow towards infinity in its range. Likewise, we suggest formatting the document. Look for the natural logarithm, ln, in the formula menu. Select only the domain cell and press OK. And drag values to get the full range. Now, select domain and range to graph. As a result, we get the behavior of the natural logarithm function. Texan Global School Global Online Learning 
Knowledge for the World www.texanglobalschool.com